What up everybody, it's your boy Nautical back at it with another video. So let's talk about how Microsoft ended their press conference. Anthem, I believe it's gonna be game of the show. It all depends on what Sony shows at their press conference tomorrow night, but man, this game showed and showed out. I kind of wish that EA would have never even showed it at their press conference yesterday in a trailer form, just so it could be more impactful. Because as Microsoft's press conference was going on, it got to the point where we knew where it was gonna show up because it wasn't showing up anywhere else in the press conference. And once we got to the end, we was like, okay, we know what game they're gonna show. So I wish they would have did that just for Microsoft, but it's their own IP. They can do what they wanna do with it. But man, when they showed that gameplay, it did not, I repeat, it did not disappoint. First, let's talk about the graphics. This wasn't made by Bioware Montreal. This was Bioware Edmund, the good Bioware. The Bioware that gave us Mass Effect 1 through 3, not the one that gave us Andromeda. So let's get that clear right now. This is how you do facial animations. This was great. And just the overall ambience of the actual area they were in was awesome. Like you just see giant mechs or whatever it was just walking around on the outskirts of the actual area they were sitting in. They were in this little playable city. I don't know if it's an outskirt or if it's a town or whatever it was, but that was really, really cool to see. Next thing you saw was them jump into a chassis and it looks like you can jump into different chassis and different chassis have different abilities and everything. And this game is a four player co-op game, drop in, drop out it looks like. At one point they literally called in two more people to help them go into a certain spot of the actual game to help. And that was really cool. It was right, reminiscence of the original reveal stream of Destiny. And I hope that they don't go to sound the same road where they say we can go there, we can go here, but in the end, you can't go there, it's walled off. And then you were able to just explore. The first thing I noticed when they walked out on that cliff was just how massive the world looked. It looks like they're gonna actually scale back the ability to go to different planets, but just make the one playable space, the planet you're on, just bigger. And we don't know, it may be interstellar travel in this game as well too, but as of right now, it just looks like a vast world. Jumping off the cliff, showing that you're actually traversing through the terrain, seeing the different wildlife. That was just really good. It just had a really nice ambiance to it. It did just the graphic fidelity from the god rays coming down and the particle effects all over the place. That was great, I loved it. The underwater scene, when he went underwater, they showed the camera shooting up so you can see it. it was All that stuff was really well done and scripted. I hope this wasn't a vertical slice of the game. I definitely hope that all this stuff that we see in the game is there, and I hope we don't get any downgrades. I don't think BioWare is the type of developer that downgrades their games, but we have seen that in the past, and I hope that's not something we see with this game coming out next year. Now, one thing I really want to definitely stress is just the weaponry in this game that we got to see was awesome. The explosions from the mortar round that went off, the actual heat seeking rockets that he like literally targeted all the enemies coming out and the explosion that ensued was great. It's probably some of the best explosions I've seen in the game to date so far. I might be just pleasure of the moment to that, but what I saw, I never think I've seen before. And it also might have to do with the fact that I watched it through Mixer, so we were seeing it in a compressed 4K format, but still 4K nevertheless. And it just looked amazing and it looked smooth. And I just don't know if it was running. I think it was running at 30 frames per second. I'm not for sure, but if even if it was running at 30, that looks really good. And honestly, if you're one of those people that really care that much about frame rate, get a PC so you can actually run it at a higher fidelity. I don't know where I'm gonna play this game at. I definitely wanna get it on my Xbox because I know I'm gonna have a bunch of friends that's playing it, but I really wanna see what this game looks like on PC too, because if that was Scorpio gameplay, how much better would it just function if it was 60 frames per second on a PC? That's the number one thing I'm gonna be looking for. I am a Destiny lover at heart. I love everything about Destiny, its faults and everything. And I just believe that this game is something that we can latch on to during the down times of Destiny. You know, I'm not saying it's gonna be better than Destiny. I don't know if any game could be better than Destiny because you don't just put 3,000 hours into something and just quit it and not be able to you know, stop playing because you feel like it's a job. But that game changed a lot of people's lives when it came to just playing with other friends and just the community that it built through the Twitch and everywhere else that it touches. And this game reminds me of that 
just in gameplay wise you know if this game can do half of that and give us the fidelity and the things that maybe Destiny's missing out on, or even just give us the things that we don't get from Destiny constantly because Destiny does have its downsides. We gotta wait to see on this game, but I am super impressed in what I saw so far. So the bricks are being laid. The foundation looks strong for this game. I have a lot of faith in Bioware, and I think that this game is gonna be something that a lot of us definitely want, and it's gonna be really cool to see if this ain't actually manifests into the game we want it to be. So make sure you leave a comment down below. Are you super excited for Anthem? Are you gonna pick this game up day one? Or are you gonna play it on Xbox One or PC or PS4? Make sure you strike down there in the comment section and let us know. Also, hit that notification bell. This is like the fifth video I did over the last two days. Make sure you know when I put up the next one. Also, like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And as always, have a good night until the next video. Peace.